Hi everybody, it's Ann Katzif. I'm going to show you today how to upload a logo file to uh, your WordPress site, specific specifically a Genesis WordPress site. In some cases, depending on the theme, it can be a really simple process. And in other cases, uh, it's still simple, but with a few more steps involved. So I'll show you both scenarios. You um, might want to get that pen and paper ready or your comp computer keyboard ready to take some notes. Um, and we'll show you how to do it. Hang on. Okay, first off, I wanted to um, remind you about checking the size of the logo before you upload it. Uh, we're here in Photoshop. I've got a logo uh, for us to view. It's a ping, so you have that transparent background. Uh, let's check out the uh, image size under the image drop-down menu. And uh, we've got a height of 768 and a width of 631. And everything is in pixels. Uh, I have a general guideline I go by when I'm uploading images. Um, and I'm going to share that with you. My, my maximum width is 1140 pixels. My maximum height would be 768 pixels, and I don't want either dimension to exceed those uh, numbers. So 1140 maximum, 768 maximum, whichever way works out the best. Uh, in this instance, we do have uh, the maximum height of 768. So I'm not going to reduce it yet, but I just want to show you what happens when you upload an image of this size to, um, to the web. It doesn't necessarily have to be WordPress. In this instance, uh, we are showing you how to do it in WordPress. But this principle of size applies to any, any website. Um, and you can see we're viewing it at 100% in Photoshop, and it's pretty big. Um, on a website, that would be like way too, way too large. And just to press my point, I'll show you uh, how how much um, how much it's too large. By <laughs> hold on a second. All right, so now we're uh, we're on a, a Genesis site. It's one of my client sites, Dig My Media, and uh, it's a Genesis theme. Genesis framework is super. You. You guys should really check it out if you don't know about it. Uh, very solid code, clean, and it works, and um, it doesn't slow down uh, the user experience at all. It's, it's really optimized quite, quite nicely. And in Genesis themes, you have in the sidebar a Genesis area, um, and I'm going to direct you to the theme settings underneath Genesis. Uh, here I am scrolling down to the spot where you can put the logo. Okay, it's going to be in the header. In this case, we want to choose image logo. Okay, let's scroll down all the way down and save those changes. Now, in some cases, you won't see that option when you go to the theme settings. You will not see what we just changed right here. Okay, it won't be there because you have custom header options uh, built into the theme. So, in that instance, before you can move forward, you need to go to uh, the theme editor section of your Genesis site in the back end of WordPress and find this code in that section. Add support for a custom header. Okay. Uh, you can either delete that section or what I've done is make it into a comment so it's inactive. I like to do that because, you know, for some reason, maybe I want to refer to it in the future like I am now, I'm referring it to it now. And once you do that, you click this button, Update File, and you'll then go back to the Genesis area, right, Theme Settings. 
scroll down again and you'll have that option okay it will now appear next thing you want to do is go to your media library and upload the logo we'll find it and drag it to that area it's this one 768 I'm going to drag it to my media library drop files to, un to upload okay let's select it and we want to copy the title and put it in the alt text area the next thing you want to do is make note and copy this whoops sorry this line, the URL, which points to where the logo is in the scheme of all your files, where that, where that logo file was actually uploaded to. Okay. Did I mention before you do any of what we're about to do? <laughs> in fact, before you do anything, including that uh, part about the functions PHP, um, you should definitely back up the site. So what we did before was look for that custom header in your functions PHP. Okay, you do not want to mess with that if you are at all unsure of what you're doing. And you certainly don't want to continue uh, modifying anything if you're unsure of what you're doing. Okay. So the next thing I want to search, I want to search for. Um, let me see. I want to search for header image. There we go. Header. I think it's header image. There we go. Beautiful. So I'm in the submenu editor. It's a submenu under appearance. And it brings you to this area that um, shows you the style sheets and um, the static front page, the functions PHP. All this stuff normally should not be touched when you're in WordPress. I'm doing it just to uh, show you what needs to be modified to upload um, your logo. But if, again, if you're unclear or unsure, um, contact me and I'll do it for you. You know, it's for a very small fee that I'll do it for you, but uh, I don't want you to mess up your site. Uh, this is the code that we're looking for. And right here, the background right now says uh, URL images logo PN, P, uh, PNG ping. No repeat left. What we want to do is replace that with the um, logo URL that we picked up in the media library. Okay, so I'm going to put it right there. All right, let's see. And then we want to replace the um, height with the 768. We'll leave the width for a minute at 100%. Okay, you can see that um, the logo is just huge. It's way, way too big. We don't want that. So we need to um, adjust the size. Let's go back to Photoshop and um, reduce the size. All right, we're back in Photoshop. We're going to reduce the size, I would say at least by 50%. What's really cool about Photoshop is you can do percentages, right? You can do inches. <laughs> Or you can do percentages. Let's try 50% and see what happens. It's still looking very large to me. See what 50% gave us in terms of pixels. 
It's 384. Still awfully large, isn't it? Let's just take a guess. Maybe 300. Still awfully large. Let's make it even smaller. Maybe 250. I don't know. It still looks large to me. I'm going to try 200. It's a little better. Okay, I'm going to do a save as um, if for the web. And remember, my method is to tell us the height. Okay, it's going to be 200 high. Let's try uploading that and replacing um, the <laughs> way large logo that we've got there. Okay, we're going to replace the um, really large logo, 768 high, with the new one that we just created, the smaller one. Go to your media library and drag in the logo. Select it. Copy that title into the alt text. And that's for folks who have some visual issues. Copy that URL. All right, this is where the file is actually found. Head back to Appearance, your editor, your style sheet. Let's find um, header image. Here we go. It's right here. Just want to see what's changed. Paste it in there for a sec. It looks like just this part has changed, right? So I'm going to put it right there. It's the same. Everything's the same except that. Okay. Get rid of this. Update. And go to the front end and see um, if it looks any better. Yeah, it does. It looks a, a lot better in size, but we need to adjust the height. So I've gone back and uh, changed the minimum height to 200. Let's refresh our screen. Let's see, see if that helps. It does. Now, I think what's going on is that I've got 100 width here. Let me see. Yeah, I've got 100% width here. I want to change that to 165 pixels. So essentially, um, the method worked. Uh, however, it got rid of the site title and the tagline. So um, in that instance, you want to probably include the um, site title and the tagline in the logo file. And that way you'll be assured of uh, both things appearing. Another way to make sure that the title of the site and the tagline show up is to um, do some uh, modifications to the uh, style sheet. Um, and that's pretty much way beyond the scope of this tutorial today. Um, but those are the two options. If, if you're not really comfortable modifying CSS, you might want to add the title to the logo, and then that way it'll show up together. So that's my recommendation for the moment, and uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, ask and leave those comments. Um, and I thank you very much for your time. Take care.